good morning and welcome we're talking about uhv3 and in uhv3 we were talking about the human being and the higher activities in the human being and how they guide the lower activities and in that process now we were talking about the sources of happiness in lecture 15 we were looking at what are the possible sources of happiness it's very clear that we want not just to live but to live with happiness not just to live with happiness but to live with continuity of happiness we don't want to be unhappy even for one moment so what is the possibility what do we do and we looked at right understanding and right feeling as one way of getting to this continuity of happiness so we said that when we have right understanding with that right understanding of the harmony at all the levels we are able able to see our relatedness we are able to have the right feeling and here there is a definite completion point definite completion point means you have the understanding you have the feeling and you feel happy that's it and you can have continuity of this so there is a definite completion point continuity is also possible and this is a state when you are not dependent on the outside for your happiness so this would be the desired route to go isn't it what are the other possibilities that we keep trying for we may have been trying for many other ways of getting to happiness so what are the other sources that we look for so when we don't have this guidance from within when we don't have or when we are not referring to our natural acceptance we are largely looking outside because we are not having this feeling ensured in us therefore we are not happy within so we are bound to look outside because we don't have a choice in the matter we will keep looking for happiness because we want to be happy in continuity that is something that we cannot escape from so we look for happiness outside how do we look for happiness outside we want the right feeling from others what we could have ensured within us we don't think about that we want others to trust us we want others to respect us we want others to have gratitude for us and when they don't we become unhappy i did so much for this one look how ungrateful and we keep trying to get them to say that they are grateful see when we are trying to get this feeling from the other you can see very clearly that you are dependent on the other suppose the other is in a bad mood they are not in a position to give you that right feeling so continuity cannot be possible through this method also there is no completion point in this one moment you try to get the right feeling perhaps you get the right feeling you are excited okay nice this person is you know grateful to me but the next moment the person is in a bad mood something happened that gratitude feeling is gone now again i am stuck so i am dependent on the other and there's no completion point there's no i can't say that okay when i get this much feeling from the other then i will be happy it keeps fluctuating moment to moment moment to moment so i can't say that okay this much right feeling if i get 
I will be happy. So continuity is not possible. It is temporary. I am dependent on the other. There is no completion point. Similarly, when I'm trying to get happiness through sensation, through physical facility, I am using the body's sense organs to try to get pleasure, to try to get happiness through the body. So I might eat tasty food, I might listen to good music, what I consider good music. Because there also you will find it's not the music that is good, it is my interpretation of the music. So some people like rock music, some people like classical music. The person who likes classical music, you make them hear rock music. A lot of times they will revolt and they will say what kind of nonsense this is. But a person who is fond of rock music, you make them listen to that, they are very happy. Oh, such good music. So we interpret things in our own way and we get stuck in trying to get happiness from it. But of course, this is also temporary. One is you are dependent on that sensation through the body. You are dependent on that physical facility outside. And here, of course, continuity is not possible. And there is no completion point. Whenever you are using the senses for pleasure or for that temporary excitement or temporary happiness, there comes a point when there is saturation of the senses and you want to come out of it. Even if you are listening to good music, how long can you listen to it? At some point you say, okay, enough, let's get on with it. Let's do something else. So because we are not resolved within, we are not having the right feeling within, we are not comfortable within, we keep trying to search for happiness from outside. And nowadays, you know, the sense organs are being bombarded with so many sensations from outside. We keep trying to search for happiness. So we keep shifting from one activity to another activity to another activity with that restlessness because that search for happiness and the continuity is not possible and therefore you know, we get bored or fed up or we, we can't have more than we shift to some other thing and so on. It's like when you sit in front of the TV and you want to watch something and you keep flicking the channels from one to the other to the other. You watch for a little while, then you move away. And you'll find that this is happening very rapidly now. Um, focus, being able to you know, stay with one thought is becoming very difficult for people. So earlier, you know, for entertainment, people used to have those test matches, five days and so on. Then it became that this long, who will wait? So we shortened and shortened. Then it became 2020 and so on to finish it in one day. You find even with movies, with music, you look at these videos, you know, uh, YouTube. People have shifted to shorter and shorter and shorter attention spans. Because nobody seems to have the patience to go through more or longer. You just look at it, get some pleasure out of it and move on. Move to something else, shift to something else. This is what is happening. So through sensation, there is no continuity possible. Of course, there is a dependence on the outside. It's temporary. And there is no completion point of this. So what is the solution? The solution is only to have 
right understanding right feeling and when you have the right understanding now you can understand things the way they are you can see the harmony at all the levels so within you also you are in harmony you are having happiness within now there is a definite completion point that is all you need now you are happy within you are doing this by your own choice so you are the one deciding the feelings so you can be happy within with the right feeling in the self now being happy you look at the others feeling now what happens is since i have ensured the feeling within myself i am happy within with this happiness now i evaluate the state of the other so i still read the others feeling but i don't give that meaning that i gave earlier that meaning that i had decided that if i get this right feeling from the other then i will be happy now my happiness is ensured within because i have the right feeling i am not looking for happiness from the others feeling when i read this others feeling when i see the others feeling i make some assessment some evaluation about the others state and with that i can see what i need to do what is my role so earlier if the other was shouting i became unhappy why he is shouting at me how can he speak to me like this what does he think all of that now when the other is shouting i am secure in my happiness being happy i look at the other and i see that they are shouting and this gives me an idea about their state that see he is shouting because he is so uncomfortable inside he is so unhappy and many times people will shout and scream and then they go into like a depression because they are unhappy they don't have the right feeling so i am able to make that assessment and i am able to see what is my role now i am ready to help the other so i can see my complementarity in the relationship i can see my role and i try to help the other all the while my happiness inside is secured similarly when it comes to sensation through the body so you are evaluating the state of the physical facility now when you are evaluating the state of the physical facility you use that sensation to find out if that physical facility for instance if the food is worth eating or not is it nurturing for the body or not those kind of decisions you can make with the sensation so not that the sensation is gone but you are evaluating you are using that sensation for evaluating the state just like how you were using you know that assessment that you were making about the state of the other based on their feeling now with this sensation you can assess the state of the physical facility and find out if it is worth to take it or not like we talk about you know smelling the things and or tasting the things and finding out if they are right fit for the consumption by the body or not first thing we smell it by the smell itself lot of times we may be able to tell whether it is fit for consuming or not or the physical facility the food is getting spoiled if the smell seems okay then we still you know take a small bite 
taste it and see to be sure supposing you have left the food outside it is hot and after few hours you feel that okay i wanted to eat this but is it okay shall i eat it or shall i not eat it how do you decide you smell it if the smell looks okay then you sometimes taste a little bit and then decide yes it's okay it's okay to eat so it it will be still nurturing for the body so you do that similarly when you want to share your you know knowledge with others when you want to share your understanding with others when you want to share your feeling with others when you want to express your complementarity with others you may use these sensations so this is uh, what we can do once we have the right understanding and the right feeling we start looking for or we start using this sensations in a different manner we still use them we still make use of the sense organs of the body but we are using it for evaluating the state of the physical facility for evaluating the state of the other not to try to get happiness from it so yesterday we had uh, given this task that list down the methods you have been trying for getting happiness from outside you'll notice that we were all trying to get happiness from outside in some form or the other so if we can jot down what things we were trying to do to get happiness from outside and what we noticed about these methods was it working was it helping or what did we notice about it and also we talked of what kind of changes we are trying to make in our living so that we can ensure the happiness from within so that we are not dependent on these outside sources for happiness so if you could um, give your reflections on this what would what were you able to observe you we'll take your observations now namaste uh, madam actually previously i have been trying to uh, uh, get happiness uh, from outside mm-hmm. uh, like uh, uh, so now i am doing phd if i finish my phd then uh, my salary will be increased and my uh, state of uh, living uh, i can inc- uh, increase i can improve so that i can be more happy and i can uh, uh, feed my children well i can study my children well like that i was thinking that is one of the ways and the other ways if i go to a beach or if i go to zoo or if i go outside for a movie so that we can uh, relax like that and we have been doing also and uh, there are some other methods also uh, a few i am telling so what's happening practically suppose if i go to uh, a zoo yes we uh, use the senses and we read the uh, senses uh, uh, for the temporary pleasure only and uh, after some time why should we go to zoo let, uh, let us go to some other place means uh, there is no definiteness in the happiness there is no continuity in the happiness now when we switch over to referring to natural acceptance then the one who really feels is concentrated i mean to say uh, it is the self uh, actually which needs that happiness it is not the uh, uh, senses and all we realized then we started concentrating on the activities of the self thereby we can easily get it because it is there in it what we understood so from time to time we uh, have been trying to refer to our natural acceptance thereby the glimpse of that uh, happiness the glimpse of that uh, realization 
that we are increasing day by day even though but we go there the same sensation but the way of reading is different so that we observed and we have been uh, uh, seeing the improvement from uh, feeling uh, uh, opposition to feeling relationship and feeling of disharmony harmony and feeling of uh, the struggle because we have been taught from the beginning the, the life is a uh, struggle for existence definitely we thought like that from the childhood now we have understood that it is not the feeling of struggle it is the feeling of uh, coexistence we have to understand so we should concentrate on our right understanding and uh, 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 and referring to the natural acceptance uh, so if we study and if we understand uh, uh, the thing what really is then we are shifting from where where we are to from where we should be so like this uh, my observation is going on madam yeah so practically are you able to see the difference yes madam practically day by day i'm seeing is it making a difference in say your relationships or how you yeah. interact with the family members yeah really madam i am able to uh, uh, be more related from myself first side what does that mean more related means what uh previously uh, suppose if anybody behaves uh, uh, means what i feel so why he is talking like that uh, what uh, does he have sense or not why in spite of all these things he is talking like that so like that uh, for a small thing uh, i feel uh, opposition now even though they speak like that it is not uh, they uh, that cause my uh, irritation but it is me so i have to improve my understanding then uh, i started concentrating on natural acceptance first actually in my practice then uh, the feeling of relationship is increasing i am able to uh, be more related that is my that is the meaning of that previously uh, i did not feel like that uh, this much uh, uh, relation of feeling uh, the feeling of relation so that it means that madam yeah i would just refer to it as rather than say more related or less related ah uh, yeah 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 she boy you can't see the relation yeah yeah really madam yeah actually the relationship is already there is there is there we may not see it that's a different matter yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah nice thank you for your sharing earlier uh, whenever i feel to uh, i feel unhappy i search for the happiness while watching that movies i like to watch the movies i always like to listen the music uh, that is how i spend my free time to get the happiness and uh, most of the time like a sunday and saturday i always play the music with the music only i started to work that is a household task that is how i spend the time because that uh, the way that how i get a happiness and also uh, i wish to cook and uh, eat so usually i prepare that more and more items whenever i free in the uh, uh, get a free time so uh, after i joined for the thv uh, so these things are reduced drastically sometime even i watch the movie already i saw that uh, whenever i get a free time uh, i watch uh, uh, once again uh, that is how i spend the time now those things are drastically reduced ma'am and uh, the more and more item uh, make uh, food item making also it is reduced uh, uh, that i observe in my uh, case ma'am very nice very nice i am not finding yeah yeah, yeah i uh, uh, now in saturday and sunday uh, i watched that videos like a uh, uhv videos and i know that uh, i understood that uh, uh, by 
i still i love music and the movies i am not say that uh, but i know that that is not giving that uh, happiness continuously yes very nice so you'll find when you do that your craving for it is gone like you mm. said you mm. like good movies you still like the music but mm. if it's not there you're not unhappy you're not craving for it you're not ah, curious ma'am. about it yeah no? ma'am yeah yeah ma'am yeah very nice so very one nice. Qu- one thing that uh, i just wanted to talk over here is <clears throat> uh, like um, gossip is something workplace gossip or gossip that's happening in the uh, i mean in the college or somewhere ever it's something that is unavoidable so whenever there is a gossip or something that is happening it is such that i become a little uncomfortable because basically i don't uh, like or i don't feel comfortable when somebody is talking about someone else that that really makes me or uh, feel like a worm over there it's 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 really uh, uncomfortable Mm-hmm. and uh, during i mean uh, as i am been traveling in this uhv journey now at times what is happening is something that i am trying to go and be a deta- little detached with the uh, gossip that is happening i i though i don't play an important or a major role in it i at least try to be there and there and i get i get the uh, talks that they are uh, discussing about and all that but now what is happening is as you were asking as you were telling like what methodology are you are adopting so what i'm uh, trying to do is now is <clears throat> i'm just trying to be a little away from them in the sense like even the talk is happening even if they are talking about somebody or someone how do i remain how do i stay closed without involving so this is something that i am trying to go and develop sometimes i become a part of it sometimes i i really try to give a little bit of uh, importance to what they talk and nowadays but most of the times i tend not to go ahead and get involved because i find that sometimes when i go and uh, give an opinion or something immediately people feel or they think that i am supporting another person okay it's not in the support of the other person i try to go and say no no why don't you think about the other perspective so usually that is a way i try to go and let people so they always say that whenever whichever state you are in you are only trying to go and think about the other person why don't you think about how much we have been affected out of it yeah. uh, i mean this was this was a role that i was playing and right now what has happened is i'm trying not to get involved into that i'm trying not to go and uh, put it to the others like you may have to think it in that way yeah. i'm just allowing or probably giving a small scope of maybe opening up in some other way that they let them think about it so it it is taking time for me to go and really come out of it but then the uhv sessions are really really uh, like helpful because every time it's like a switch you know like in the moment some situation happens okay now i have to really think about it i have to really go and understand it and i have to go and react accordingly so these are the something uh, the uh, uh, reactions and the responses that have been undergoing so yeah. and uh, i'm really uh, happy with whatever that is happening no yeah. i i was just only trying to understand the whole thing by listening and then start reflecting on throughout the day yeah let so me just talk yeah. a little bit about yeah, yeah, yeah. what you raised um when we look at gossip largely you will find that we are talking ill about somebody isn't it yeah yeah something somebody did so and so did this so and so did that or oh, do you know this one did this this one said this one is that you will notice that it is something bad about the other person something that they did not do right that what we consider right so if you look at that when we are trying to gossip the main thing what is happening inside is i am trying to show that i am not like this i am better that person is different that person is not like me person is in front of us we try to be quiet and we don't say anything but there also you will notice that problem is 
not just about our action. Problem is the feeling that I am harboring within me. I have a feeling of opposition within me. I am seeing the other as very different from myself. This is going to be a source of unhappiness for me. So what can you do when others are gossiping like this and we are not a part of it? Now somewhere we have to come out with it and express what we think. Isn't it? So we can, surely we can have differences in opinion. But like you said, you know, one way can be to highlight some of the positive things. To try to yeah. talk of the good that is happening around. Not necessarily with that person involved, but in general. You'll notice that many people don't talk much about positive things because somewhere the ego comes up and we are trying to show that we are better than others. So it feels temporarily nice, you know, some temporary happiness we get out of saying something bad about the other person. But if we have the right feeling ensured in us, now we see our relatedness with them. So even though these people are talking ill of others, I have to see one that I don't get influenced by that. I don't get sucked into it and start talking the same way or thinking the same way. The other part is also that I need to see my relatedness with these people also. It shouldn't be that I am doing the same thing in a different format, that I am having a feeling of opposition for these people. So I don't have to close myself, rather I have to open myself and I have to include these people also, that they also need understanding. So we can talk to them with the feeling of relatedness. A lot of times we have, we start having feeling of opposition within us when people talk like this because we don't want to be a part of it. But at the same time, they also need if we can see that slowly we have to develop our you know competence so that we can have the right feeling even for these people and then try to talk to them with that feeling of relatedness when we start talking with them then they will also respond what happens is they are talking ill of somebody and we say, no, 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 this is not right. Or we are negating them. So right there and then they get cut off. They get unhappy and they don't want to discuss. But if with the right feeling, ensured feeling, then we talk to them. And we mention some very positive things also. Slowly they will start turning around. But for that, we have to first build our competence. Ma'am, actually, um, uh, so ha having seen the coexistence or the seeing everything as a whole, uh, a single system, uh, my feeling is that uh, everything is mine these days. So whatever I see outside is mine. That is a feeling. And I have a feeling of responsibility towards that. So that is a feeling I have these days. So everything is mine. <laughs> mine means what? My, my. It is not not others. The, I don't see an uh, an uh, uh, something something separate from me. So everything is mine. So if I uh, have a uh, uh, something out, outside, I see that it is also mine, and I have the responsibility for lo take, uh, looking after or taking care of that, etc. Yeah. Nothing is separate. Everything I think is. Separate. What I think what you're trying to see is you're, what you're trying to say is you are able to see the relatedness because yes, when you yes. say mine, it is like a possession thing. This yeah, is po possession means it, it is attached to me. It is uh, so I am also part of that, or I, it is yes. we are in harmony or some uh, yeah, there nice. is some relatedness. Nice, and I have a feeling of responsibility. Very nice, very nice. Thank you. So there you will see that you will also start you know, 
expressing your complementarity with the other units outside yes, slowly with the thoughts first having the right feeling within and then you will start like you said you know with the feeling of responsibility how a mother is you know with the children same same regardless of what mistakes the child make makes you know or the children make the mm. mother is still you know with affection with care she sort of interacts with the child she takes responsibility she tries to be complimentary yes all the time so same thing we have to do with all the units yes. nice yes, thanks thank you ji yeah yesterday uh, i listed down few things that gave me happiness uh, mm -hmm. more earlier and little now mm -hmm. yeah one of the the first thing that i could note down is getting physical things mm -hmm. like clothes accessories or anything for my house it gave me you know i liked it very much earlier mm -hmm. and whenever i used to go for shopping and i purchase some things so uh, so earlier i used to get you know think that uh, i will be happy if i go for shopping and buy new things for myself even for my family also my daughter and uh, other people in my family i used to feel happy getting things for people this uh, even today i would also feel happy like this i don't know why but whenever i get things for my daughter or for my sister's children or my brother in law's children i feel happy so this is one thing that i noticed that getting something for children toys and other things it gives me happiness for me it has reduced getting something for myself it has you know reduced i don't feel like you know getting happiness from those things second thing that i noticed is the favorable feelings from friends and family mm -hmm. so if people are behaving the way i like it then i am happy earlier it used to be like this but now because i am aware of competence and the different levels of competence of people around me and my own competence now that i am aware now this this thing has reduced this change i could notice in myself that i am no more you know disturbed by the unfavorable behavior of the other what i consider unfavorable oh he should not behave like this my students should be obedient if mm -hmm. i have given them this task they should be like this so this thing uh, i noticed that it has changed in me now that uh, now i am able to see the difference of competence in myself and the other and uh, one more thing that i would like to mention here is that in the institute also in my family also i don't know if people are noticing changes or not but sometimes some things when i used to sit and remember you know, from the past or day before yesterday it used to disturb me a lot or if suppose uh, with someone i don't have a very good relation so if someone is talking about something and i could you know i could relate it to them and then that that moment i used to feel bad oh no she is not like this with me see you no know, for example if if we talk about sister in law or any other relation so they if someone says that oh my sister in law is very nice she is very caring she loves me a lot so i used to feel bad about myself that oh she doesn't behave like this she doesn't do this for me but now i am able to see that only i was just seeing the other person's perspective what he or she is not doing for me but i was not able to see what i am not doing for them nice so that thing i am able to see that it is not that the other is not doing for me i am also not doing for them so that is why the problem is so now i can see that i have to first change myself i have to first do things that i want others for me to do then only i think there will be a major change if i am able to do this the focus so, is only shifting from the others to myself yes yes didi it is shifting to myself only 
yeah uh, this change i am seeing in myself these days that most of the times i am not seeing the problems in others so i am seeing oh i am doing like this i should not have done like this so this i am able to see these days very nice yeah. and slowly you will see that you know you it might be, begin like this that if i do for them then they will also do for me but by the time we have the right feeling and we you know look at our complementarity slowly we find that it doesn't matter whether they do or they don't do yes i feel you know happy within so i stop expecting this good behavior from others the expectation may be there but if that expectation is not met i don't become unhappy because my yes. feeling is secure within me yes yes that is the truth nice yes. and like you mentioned where earlier you were getting joy out of getting things for yourself now you are getting joy out of giving things to others so that part also one part is giving physical facility to others that will help them get happiness temporarily that we can see yes more importantly is the gift of you know seeing the relationship being um, sort of um, interacting with them with that feeling of relationship like for instance you know small child say our relatives to to bring them toys they get busy with the toys we we come to them with you know we play games with them we find out how they are doing in school we chat with them you know we interact with them we involve ourselves with them that will lead to another level of happiness for them and you will notice that children are looking for that actually but we make do with small physical things temporarily and even beyond that relationship part ultimately every every human being has a need to know so ultimately you want to be able to be complimentary in that to give the gift of or make the effort for understanding in other those so this is just i mean yes you know, yes, yes move, as we keep moving we will notice these changes yes yes definitely the what uh, first time i'm ta- talking in you chitri <laughs> because Nine. of the time the, the happiness uh, should be enjoyed within what i have observed is happiness mm. should be enjoyed within mm-hmm. what, what i observed actually what happiness comes only when we switch from uh, uh, not expecting from others that means only we we observe and uh, uh, take away of this which is in giving lot of happiness is there not uh, over the period we used to just uh, take what we uh, we are getting but we should from getting to giving mm-hmm. we have more uh, we can uh, that i explored actually lot of happiness in giving just uh, as example just a small kid a very uh, three four months of six months kid when it smiles it gives so it shares the happiness actually in giving smile itself right he that self feels happy and we also without uh, communication is not required actually for happiness without communicating that child is giving us happiness mm-hmm. we we are exploring it actually yeah so yes the joy that you get from giving the happiness that you yeah. get from giving is a lot more than what you get from getting that is true yeah the net when ultimate say, yeah when you say happiness within so yeah, how do you feel happy within these are expressions outside no what you can do outside but you will notice yeah, that the. the main issue is my you know can i ensure my happiness within me regardless of what is happening outside so when things yeah. are comfortable outside 
I am of course comfortable. But when things are not to my liking outside, can I remain in happiness? That is a very big question. So for that, yeah, you will really. notice that what you need is to have the right feeling at all times. So what we are yeah. saying no, in UHV3 also and in the exercises, what yeah, we really. are saying in exercise one, that if we can look at the imagination, if we can look at our own feeling, and we can refer to our natural acceptance and see if our feeling is in line with the natural acceptance. Yeah. So that whenever your feeling is in line with the natural acceptance, you are calm, you are comfortable, you are in happiness. And whenever sure, really. your feeling is not in line with the natural acceptance, you will be disturbed, you will be unhappy, in contradiction. And this yeah. is regardless of what is the state outside. You could be in a very um, nice location, beautiful location. You have gone for a holiday. But inside, you have a feeling of opposition for somebody and that is bothering you. You will not be happy there also. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah really. nice. One more thing, really. happiness is now or never. If the present situation, if you are happy, that's all the, the, what I explored. Actually, we are, I keep on postponing. If I get promotion, I will be happy. If I get that <laughs> thing, I will be happy. <laughs> this is keep on where postponing. If pre, pre, present situation, present moment, if you be in happy, that, that's all the, the, what I explored uh, so many 60 days. Yeah. Uh, True. Yeah. True. We keep postponing our happiness. Because yes. if this happens, then I'll be happy. If that happens, then I'll be happy. But we don't see that this moment I can be happy, regardless of what is happening outside, whether it happens or it doesn't happen. I can be happy and then work for that situation that I want. Yeah, they, they, with, with happiness, with contentment, with that may be more, uh, that may aid to our uh, happiness. It may improve, still we can improve upon that happiness, what I explored, Didi. Am I right, Didi? Yeah, it, and it's not just about now, being in happiness now, but not just this moment, but every moment. Continuous. Because, yeah. yeah, because I, that is what I want. Because even yeah, one moment of unhappiness, it disturbs. I don't want that. Hmm? Isn't it? Yeah, Didi. Yeah, Didi. Uh, recently, we, along with my son, I visited a mall. Uh, mm -hmm. we, while purchasing, uh, I, I took some pants and uh, my son was just helping me. Mm -hmm. While I selected uh, three numbers, he told me that, Papa, you don't have enough. You buy more because <laughs> you don't find time. <clears throat> but the uh, conscious thing that was coming back is do I need this and they are all costly, unnecessary because it is a big mall. Mm -hmm. So, and he also was also trying some uh, uh, trousers as well as some overcoats. And at last one, one item he picked and I asked him, you have these tracks or not? He told Papa, it has become a smaller one now and I don't have any. So, the as a whole family, the uh, thought that is uh, in the back of the mind is, is it necessary or not? Yes. It is a big feeling that for such a small kid, he came to realize that I don't have one, then I need a one. Mm -hmm. It's revealing and he is to also nowadays going through this uh, and uh, he is in the 10th standard now. It's a big thing for a, it's a family, for me. Very nice. You'll notice this. this when once one person is in that journey and, and you share with the family members, the whole family, the, you know, the atmosphere within the family changes. And it's a very beautiful thing. Nice. So some prevailing notions of happiness and their outcomes. So what we have been discussing, no? trying to get happiness from outside, owning or accumulating physical facility. So when you are owning or accumulating physical facility, we may have been 
looking at getting more and more as a source of happiness then our own feeling our own happiness within is not ensured without this understanding that physical facility is required it is a need of the body it will not do anything for the self so for a human being yes physical facility is required for the body but that is not sufficient if i want to live with happiness in continuity this certainly cannot be sufficient then if we look at pleasure from a favorable sensation so we spoke of this at length through the sense organs of the body i try to get pleasure so whether it be listening to good music whether it be the touch of something soft against the skin whether it be you know looking at some form whether it is taste of some thing on the tongue whether it is the smell any of those sense organs when i try to get happiness from it very soon will reach a point of saturation so we discussed the food part something is tasty it is necessary because you are hungry the body requires it you eat at as you keep eating now the body is what was required for the body that has been met but it is still tasty i still like the taste and if i keep eating at some point i will find that it even the taste seems to have gone it seems to have become tasteless and then also if somebody makes me eat now it becomes intolerable i cannot bear it so the same thing that gave me happiness now is giving me unhappiness because i don't want it anymore i want to get out of it so this is true for all senses you will find that so that also cannot work if i am trying to get attention and appreciation from others of course it can't be continuous because i am dependent on the other it depends on the other's mood it depends on the other state you know how they are they may or may not feel like giving me the right feeling so sometimes i'll be happy in excitement sometimes i'll be unhappy so when we fail to ensure this continuity of happiness through these methods and we are in unhappiness we take to escape from unhappiness so as long as we are getting this pleasure from outside we keep trying but supposing that sweet is over now what to do then we look at other options so we try to escape from that unhappiness that craving for it and we go to other things so some examples of these methods of escaping are overeating oversleeping taking to alcohol drugs and so on but why this overeating and oversleeping is put here is because in society still that is not considered taboo but once you take all these alcohol drugs and so on that becomes attached with the social stigma but if you look at it even overeating oversleeping can be some escape means to try to get away from unhappiness so we'll reflect on this today that this constant oscillating between excitement and escape this is not happiness are we falling into this trap are we also getting into some of these things to escape from unhappiness so i'll put an assignment in the group also